everyone, David Bombal coming to you from the UK. Really excited to be talking to Hank Preston again in the States. Hank, big big conference coming up in about a week, I think. So I want to talk to you about like some of the big things happening. But before we get there, it's good to talk to you. Is there something coming up? I'll have to check my calendar. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Yeah, yeah Hank, no. I think you kind of booked up, aren't you? I, you know, I did notice that I, I didn't have any free time in about a week and a half. I should go double check and see what that is. But uh, but of course, you're talking about Cisco Live, and it is our biggest conference of the year. And it is um, crazily less than a week and a half away at this point. I'll be jumping on a plane, and uh, I, I'm ready. It'll be a good time. It, it's an exciting place to go, and it's, it's a chance to be surrounded um, by like-minded engineers and folks that are out there. And so, I mean, the, the online, the social community has been fantastic because it's really kind of made, made the world smaller in a way that it, you don't, um, you're not the only guy out there that you work with and see on a daily basis. If you're the network guy at a, at a shop, you can go online and you can get connected to everybody um, that is kind of in that same boat. But when you go to an event like Cisco Live, um, everybody that's there is just as passionate about that technology as you are. And so I get really pumped um, to have that chance to, to meet face to face. And, and we, I spend almost my entire time at Cisco Live sitting in the DevNet zone, um, either helping out at the Sandbox booth or leading labs and sessions or just talking with folks that are coming through and answering questions as it goes in. And it really kind of re-energizes me personally um, getting that chance to have that kind of face-to-face -face interaction and that direct connection with the folks that are kind of taking advantage of the material and, and um, kind of putting these theories into practice in their own world as it goes in. And then leading up to the event is a ton of preparation. Um, it's, it's funny, I, the first time I went to a Cisco Live, I went as just an attendee and it was, it was like a, a big party, right? I went, I learned a bunch of stuff, I talked to a bunch of people, gathered some swag in a bag, um, and it was a great time. Um, I go to Cisco Live now and it's, it's, like, it's a very um, intense work time for me because I, I present about, I don't know, 18 hours or so worth of content across the week as it goes in. Um, it's the creation of the content and the practice and the curation. Um, we man a, a, an entire booth dedicated to DevNet Sandbox. And so getting ready to kind of um, have uh, uh, activities and, and, and concepts and, and what are we gonna kind of do as we handle there. So it's a bunch of work leading up to it. And then this is really rewarding um, um, time on the, on the floor having a chance to talk with folks that are there. So it's, it is an amazing event. Um, I, I wish every engineer had a chance to attend, um, but I know it's, it's something that's been tough. I didn't get to come to my first Cisco Live until I actually worked for Cisco. Um, and so that's just kind of how it goes. It is definitely a challenge, but for those that are lucky enough to come, it's, it's quite the experience. Yeah, I must say, I mean, if it wasn't for you and it wasn't for DevNet, I wouldn't be going. So I mm -hmm. have to, you know, say thanks to DevNet specifically because I'll be there. So coming back to the start now thing, mm -hmm. um, if someone's struggling, you know, it's they, they, they're getting into the stuff. They've been looking at the videos. They've been trying to do it and they're struggling. Mm -hmm. Can they come to the DevNet start now zone or wherever in DevNet? And are there people there that can perhaps help them? Yeah, absolutely. So if you are at Cisco Live, um, or if you're not, you can actually see what's going on in Cisco Live by going to developer.cisco.com slash Cisco Live, which will take you to the page for uh, kind of whatever the, the, the current or the upcoming Cisco Live event is. And so you can hear the page today is for Cisco Live San Diego. And there's a lot of really great places that you can check out. One of the new and exciting pieces that we have this year is actually a, um, a meet the developer. Cisco Live has long had a meet the expert program where people could come in and ask, you know, I'd like to talk to somebody about BGP routing. I'd like to talk to somebody about data center design. And they would pair you with an expert in that topic and you could sit down for a half hour, 45 minutes um, and kind of get one-on-one -on -one interaction with somebody to tackle those. And so we've modeled meet the developer after that. And so if you're coming to Cisco Live and you want to talk to somebody, you can come over here to the um, developer.cisco.com slash Cisco Live, and then just go save your spot now. And this will give you a chance to actually go through and kind of indicate which type of technologies you're after, and you'll get kind of matched up with one of our, our specialists. And so you can see that we've got, if you're just interested in DevNet training, specifically cloud or collaboration, whichever technologies you're interested in, you can select those 
and then get kind of paired up with one of the, the specialist developers that we have in DevNet Zone ready to sit down. And again, this is one-on-one -on -one time, you and a developer to talk about what's going on. Outside of that, you can always come to DevNet Zone and just ask anybody that's wearing one of the DevNet shirts, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in talking a bit about this. And if they're not the right person, they certainly know who they can kind of connect you with. And if they're available right then, everybody in DevNet Zone is more than happy to talk to folks at any point. Um, or if, you, if they're not available right then, certainly make a connection using kind of WebEx Teams or even email or a range of time to kind of get a chance to take advantage of um, the time there. And so we're, we're, we're fully staffed at our events to make sure that we can help everybody out that, that is looking for some, some answers. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, this is a big thing. So let me just see if I understand this. If I have a project, like let's mm -hmm. say I've, I want to implement network automation on my network, and, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm confused or I just don't know where to, what to do, it's possible for me to meet a developer, which could be you, it could be, you know, Big Evil Beard, a bunch <laughs> of the other people that we've spoken to. Um, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for me, someone who's struggling, perhaps feels isolated, to talk to, say, one of you guys who can help me you know, with my laptop, but also mm -hmm. give advice on work stuff. Is that right? Absolutely. I mean, the, the time is, is completely open to whatever folks want to go through. So if you're in that boat, you could come here and say, okay, if it's if the network you're trying to automate is, is an enterprise or campus network, you can select that one. If it's data center specific, um, if you're, you're I'm looking, or a service provider, I, I was just scrolling through where we're at, you can, you can kind of target in and then you'll sit, get ch a chance to sit down with somebody and kind of tackle those questions specifically. Bring your project ideas, bring, your, bring the code that you've gotten through and we can help talk through it and walk in and, and give suggestions on what's going on. Really, there's there's no limit to what we can accomplish kind of in these these meet the developer sessions. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, so here's the big question. How much does it cost? I, I mean, assuming you're at Cisco Live, th there's no added cost for this. It's just right. you, you book and register a time, yeah. Yeah, so basically, someone can go onto the site mm -hmm. and book a session with someone. And um, when they get to Cisco Live, just go to the DevNet zone at the right time and then meet the developer, yeah? Yep, yep, you go through, you select it, you walk through the process, it'll it'll find the times that are appropriate, get you matched up, and then at your appointed time, you'll come to the DevNet zone, look for the meet the developer area, which is probably in the start now, I haven't seen the most recent floor plan, so I don't know exactly where it is kind of inside the DevNet zone, but it'll be well signed. Um, and even if it's not, just ask at the info desk and then head on over and you'll get a chance to sit down with, with whoever's been kind of matched up with you. So Hank, I mean, this is a new thing, isn't it? What other cool things do you think are coming to the DevNet Zone, you know, this year at Cisco Live? Is there anything that you personally think is really nice? There's a lot that happens in DevNet Zone, and there's a lot that DevNet does um, are related to Cisco programmability. Um, we've got uh, application development, we've got collaboration technologies, IoT, um, and network automation, of course. Um, one of the things that I really like about this year's DevNet Zone inside of Cisco Live is we've put a kind of a, a really laser focus on network automation for the entire event. And so we've got an entire section of our demo floor dedicated to network automation areas and different pieces. So if you're talking about how do I model a, a network so that I can test and evaluate ideas, we've got uh, several demos around network modeling and evaluation. If you're trying to figure out how to do configuration management strategies with some of the different tools that are out there, well, we're tackling that and kind of with several different demos to show that it goes in. Um, network telemetry, you're trying to figure out how do I get the health and status of, of what's going on inside my network with some of these newer protocols. We've got a, a group of guys that have been focused on building telemetry demos across the platforms. And of course, one of my favorite topics to talk about these days, network testing and verification. Um, we've got a whole section dedicated to that. And our PyATS and Genie team has been putting together lots of great new pieces and demonstrations showing how folks can go through. And we tackled the network automation demos knowing that people that roll up and want to talk about it, they may be brand new to network automation um, and have, have need a place to get started with very limited kind of... Um, background knowledge or, or, or skill set to start with. Like they're st just starting their network automation journey. And so every one of those demos will have uh, examples and suggestions that folks could start immediately. Um, but we'll also have people that come up with, that have been doing network automation and have been at DevNet Zone for every, every one of the five years that we've been doing it so far. And so they've, they've, they've kind of moved along in their journey a bit. And so each one of these demos again will have also more advanced and intermediate pieces that go through. 
And so if you come up, talk with the demo booth owners, the people that are there manning it, explain to them your situation, the types of things you're interested in, and they'll show you demos that kind of align to wherever you are in your own kind of um, network automation and, and network skill set and, and um, bringing, your, bringing yourself to kind of this network automation world um, rather than a traditional kind of demo floor where it's like, this is the one thing that we're ready to show you and, and we're going to show you this one thing. We're much more kind of um, flexible and open and interactive, kind of curating the demo experience for folks as they come up based on what they're after and where they are in their own journey. And, and that really excites me. It's been a ton of work for our DevNet. Yeah, our DevNet project and events team um, has been working really hard to kind of make this the logistics of this go through. And then the, the number of individual engineers from, from DevNet and from the Cisco SE organization and the engineering teams that have kind of pulled together and dedicated tons of their own time to kind of flesh out and build these robust demos has just been amazing to see the passion that everybody has for this topic. Um, and I can't wait to see that kind of come to life right there inside of DevNet Zone in San Diego. What else is here? I mean, I see Meet the Developer, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. What's co-creations? It's just off the page, I think, and some of the other things. Anything else that you want to highlight? Yeah, I know, excellent stuff to go through. So the DevNet co-creations, the concept of co-creations is that when your, your engineering team or, or a development team or a partner team actually partners up with our DevNet application engineers on a project. Um, and so you can come in and you can kind of see where it goes through. So we've got folks inside of DevNet who kind of work with those customers um, to kind of tackle development challenges that they have, ideas that they have, assemble proof of concept code, maybe even code that would then move into a production use case. But at DevNet Zone, inside of uh, DevNet Zone in San Diego, you can kind of check out some of the things that our co-creations team has done. Um, we started a couple of events ago, this idea of a DevNet takeover, where we actually kind of all cross the DevNet Zone, we theme it for some particular topic that is being launched or announced at Cisco Live. And the first time we did it, we had a couple of BUs and, and product teams that were interested in it. And they were so popular that uh, we've actually have, have had more requests for these takeover concepts than we actually have the ability to support because there's only so many days in Cisco Live. And so during one of these takeovers, you can kind of come in. Um, we'll have sessions inside of the theater and inside of the classrooms kind of focused on a particular topic that's there. Um, you'll see snacks and drinks and specialty giveaways that are only available during there. And so if I click here, I imagine it'll show us what the takeover schedule is. Yep. And so we can see on Monday from four to five, we're gonna be kind of going in depth around Cisco Cloud. We're gonna look at ACI Anywhere, Anywhere on Tuesday, um, Meraki also on Tuesday. So we can see a, a robust set of these takeovers where the entire DevNet zone kind of gets themed around these specific topics that are relevant to our developers and our community, but also have large announcements happening kind of on site at Cisco Live that week um, to kind of partner in with what's going on there. So the takeovers are a great one to go through. And then I didn't even realize it until I scrolled down, but also here we've got our sandbox challenges highlighted. So uh, I'll actually be at, let me scroll back to that spot. I'll actually be spending a lot of my time in the sandbox booth inside a DevNet zone as it goes through. And our sandbox challenge is a, is a tablet challenge. It's so easy to connect to DevNet sandbox and reserve an instance and get access to infrastructure that we decided to take a moment and slow everybody down a little bit and make you build your own computer to, to log in and see what's going on. And so you'll come up to our tablet challenge and you'll see um, a tablet kit laid out in front of you. And so these are, um, these are made by Kano Computing. They're, they're computing kits based on Raspberry Pi and kind of a color-coded plug-and-play technology um, for teaching uh, kind of kids how to get into computers and programming. So it's, it's not intended to be um, uh, super challenging or difficult or, or intimidating as it goes in. So you roll up, you've got the kit in front of you, and you assemble the tablet computer, you boot it up, you connect into DevNet Sandbox and kind of access one of our pieces. And we time you, and the fastest times of the days will earn a prize. But everybody that participates gets entered into a raffle for one of our prizes that goes through as well. So it's fun to come in, and then while you're there, you can talk with one of our Sandbox engineers about the different catalog offerings that might be relevant to the types of projects that you're after. And so I think everybody, I hope everybody comes on and tries out our Sandbox Challenge this year. That sounds really good. I mean, I. I remember when I went to Barcelona, the start now was great because I remember people were arriving and saying, I'm clueless, mm -hmm. what do I do? 
and there were people there that were able to help them, which is great. I mean, I think for a lot of us, it's, you know, getting started is, is often the biggest hurdle. You know, how do I get over that initial bump just to you get started down this journey? So I think that's great. But I'm really excited about, you know, meet the developer thing. Mm-hmm. So that's where, you know, people have the possibility of having you help them with their networks or some of the other sort of famous uh, guys at DevNet helping them with their networks. Is that right? Absolutely. We've got uh, we've got the developer advocacy team. We've got some of our specialists and engineers all signed up for these time slots. And so depending on what you're after, you'll get matched up with somebody that can help you answer those questions. So, Hank, that's fantastic. I mean, I will be flying on Friday, week from today, um, when, when we're recording this, and you'll be there. So definitely want to see you there. And if anyone wants to come and meet me or meet Hank, please come to the DevNet Zone. That's probably where we'll, where we'll both be spending most of our time. You know, come and say hello. I mean, we create these videos. We, you know, have spoken a lot, but it's always nice to, you know, see people who are watching this. So if you want to come and share your experiences or, you know, tell us the things that you've done, then please do that. And Hank, I'll give you a chance, you know. What do you, what do you think? People can come and say hello. Please do. Um, I, I'm Some people, because I, I, I talk a bunch on video and I do a lot of presentations, people think that I'm super outgoing. I'm actually super shy and an introvert. And so if you see me hiding in a corner someplace, don't hesitate to come up and say hi. I love talking to folks, but I'm just... I'm always probably in some corner, some place if I'm not kind of actually doing something active, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to talk. So come on up, say hi, um, tell me some of the stuff that you got, ask for some stickers. We'll have plenty of those around as it goes in, um, as it goes through. That's brilliant, Hank. Look forward to seeing you next week. Excellent, you too, David, thank you. Mm -hmm.